With the release of iOS and iPadOS 15, Apple has upped its game in password management with iCloud Keychain. Previously, I recommended using a third-party password manager like 1Password or LastPass. If you're using a third-party password manager and like it, stick with it. However, if you're new to password management and have resisted adopting a password management, you should start by trying out iCloud Keychain immediately. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started iCloud Keychain is a core feature of the iCloud ecosystem. Apple device owners can rely on this system to store account credentials. For example, you no longer have to remember credit card numbers and expiration details because iCloud Keychain keeps the information and all your login information for website passwords. To enable iCloud Keychain, you'll need to open the Settings app, Select your name at the top, tap on iCloud, and then tap on Keychain and make sure that the toggle switch is turned on. We have to add some additional information into Safari to get started or nothing will work correctly. So we need to come into the Settings app, scroll down until you see Safari, tap on Safari, under General, select Autofill and make sure the Use Contact Info is toggled on and that your name is listed underneath. To add credit card information, you'll want to tap on Saved Credit Cards. And if there's nothing added in there, you'll go ahead and you'll tap on Add Credit Card. You can either use the camera or you can fill in the information uh, manually. You'll tap on Done. And when you're finished, the Edit button in the upper right-hand corner will be activated so that you're able to go in and make changes to your credit card or delete your credit card. The key selling point of iCloud Keychain is its security in keeping your information safe. This allows you to start making payments on websites that don't support Apple Pay. But of course, you can always remove the information or update it. It's always best to consider using the most robust passwords, especially when accessing sensitive information like a bank account. So it's a good general rule of thumb to make every website you log into safe and secure with the strongest password you can. So here I've launched the Safari browser and I just went to REI so that I can show you how this works uh, after you've set up iCloud Keychain. When you come in, you'll fill in your information to create a new account, or if you have an account, you'll go ahead and scroll down to the password area. And when I tap in there, you'll see that Apple has created two options for me. Use a strong password, or choose my own password. It's always best to say use strong password. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. The password is entered in there. Once I complete filling out all of my information, that password will be saved to iCloud Keychain so that every time I go back to that website, I can tap on the login information and I will be able to enter my information from iCloud Keychain. If you already have login information available, maybe you're keeping it in a notebook or on a piece of paper, I would suggest that you go ahead and add that login information manually to iCloud Keychain. What you'll need to do is you'll tap on Settings, you'll scroll down until you see passwords, tap on passwords, and then go ahead and hit the plus button in the upper right corner. You'll add in the website, your username, and password. And when you're finished, you'll go ahead and tap on done. And now the next time you go back to that website, your login information will be available to you from iCloud Keychain. 
To remove or edit your account credentials, uh, you'll come back into the Settings app. You'll scroll down to Passwords. And here, choose one of your passwords and you'll see some options available. You can change the password on the website itself. You can set up a verification code or you can delete the password. You also have an option in the upper right corner to edit the password. So if I tap on that, I can come in and edit these options if I need to. And then when I'm finished, I'll tap on done. Deleting passwords will remove the site and password from iCloud Keychain across all of your devices, making it no longer available. If you have more than one Apple device, your passwords will sync and be available on all of them. iCloud Keychain is a powerful feature. In addition, Apple has provided security by providing Touch ID, Face ID, and verification codes to keep your personal and sensitive data away from unauthorized individuals. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.